Hello everyone, welcome back. This video is specifically gonna be about data reading. And I think I'll do a big series of these, just run through examples of me reading data, what sort of things I look for, what sort of things you should be considering, and the information that's available to you on softwares. I've done a couple on Bybot Pro. This one's gonna be the heavy on Selleramp uh, with a live product that is live as of the 17th of February, 2023. In addition to this, I want to emphasize the post that will be live on TikTok by the time this goes live, which is talking about how phase two of the journey is going to come about. Phase one is done. The exclusively Amazon selling only is done. I'm starting to get a bit more affiliate money in and I'm starting to see opportunities. And if you watch my manifesting video, I am grabbing those opportunities with both hands. I'll give you much more detail on that. There's a, a three minute clip on uh, TikTok. I'll do a longer one on here, just explaining exactly what it is I'll be doing in phase two. Anyway, enough of me, this is data reading. Let's get into it. Any questions, drop them below. If you like it, let me know because I can I can easily do more of these. This is something that I do most nights. So all I've got to do is press record and speak out loud and I can do many of them. Uh, I hope it helps you. Let's go, roll it. <laughs> Okay, we're on source mogul. Let's hit this search here that I ran yesterday. And let's take this product for example. Okay, we've got £30, 69.21. This is all looking normal. The serial number is the same, which is a good sign. So here we are using Celeram. Now, what's really important is that they give you this snapshot here, but if you click into it and open up the product, you get a world of information. So let's use this as an example. Here are all the things that you'd expect to see. 3,108 a month, which is amazing, but these are estimated across all of the variations. Now let's go back and you'll see, look, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five different wattages and four different styles. That is a lot of variations. Okay, so here we are with our keeper chart. This is a three month window. It's the graph that tells the story here. So if we go back here, this top graph, every time I hover over it, a load of stuff comes up. We don't want that. Let's go away. So I'll hover underneath it. The orange blob here, this is Amazon on it. Then they jump off it and then they get back on it again. The pink line right on top of the orange blob, that's your buy box price. That's the one that we're interested in. So look what happens. Buy box, £29 back in November. And it's dropping up and down, dropping up and down. People have, people stop buying it over Christmas, interestingly, because no one cares what they eat at Christmas time. <laughs> They're too busy in Tesco. Amazon are still on it. Look, buy box, the buy box price jumps up in January. People are buying it. And then Amazon run out of stock. Bop. All of a sudden, the buy box disappears because the sellers on there whack the price up and Amazon say, that's not good value. There's no buy box on this listing. It doesn't matter because look, the green line shows people are still buying them despite the fact that it's £60.97 without next day delivery because it's only FBM. That tells you what the market's doing. Then we drop down again. Amazon get back on it and they set the buy box at £40.39.99. That FBM dude is still selling it at £61. Who do you think is getting the sales there? Amazon stay on it, and then they drop the price even further, $29.99. They hog the buy box because no one else is playing the game. FBA jumps on, look, £60. They won't be anywhere near this. Then the FBA decides, I've got to play along. I've got to get rid of my stock, and they drop it down. Look, These graphs tell you the story. Amazon keep the buy box. It's $29.99. That FBA, FBA seller is getting rid of their stock. The FBM is being hopeful because storage isn't a factor for them. We keep going along. Look, FBA goes right. Let's knock it back up. £52.47. Look at this little thin sliver here. Amazon come off the listing. And the price shoots back up again. And as of today, £69.21 FBA. And it looks like, if you look at this green blob, it's actually sold at that price too. So this is a judgment call. In all honesty, what I'd do is I'd go back a bit further. Let's look at the year. There we go, look. That's the story. 
Amazon jump off, price goes up. Amazon jump on, price comes down. And that's the story. So we know, I can be pretty confident here, that in a week or two, Amazon are getting back on and that's going for 29.99. So it's a judgment call. Do you send it in, sell it at 70 quid and hope that yours go by the time Amazon jump on? Or do you swerve it? It all comes down to your budget, to your personal preferences, to your risk appetite. It's on you. But this is how you read the data. That's what that chart is telling you. Hope that helps. All right, that will do it. That is how I read the data. Now, like I said in the video, a lot of this depends on your cash flow, your budget, your expertise, your risk appetite is the biggest one. Just because I don't fancy something doesn't mean that you shouldn't. You do what's right for you. You make the decisions. But ultimately, how you read the data, that's one thing. How you then implement that into your decision making, that's something that I can't teach. And it's purely based on you, your background, your culture and your gambling propensity. <laughs> um, I want to mention as well just how good SellerAmp is. You could see for yourself the information that I could glean from their page. I've got a discount code. 50% off your first month or 5% off your first year. That's on top of your 14 day free trial. I'll put the link in my description and I'll put the coupon codes to caps lock underscores. They're all important. So make sure you use them. Get going. Take care everyone.